Thank you for coming. Yeah. And uh, you've been here several years now. Three yes. times, I think. Or no, this is my fifth time. Fifth time here. Yes. Okay, yeah. So you enjoy being here. And I like the surroundings. So I like the tournament. So everything is nice here. Yeah. Good. Um, and your play? Your so play? far, it has been uh, quite good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. Um, you had such a long chess career. Um, you play chess all of your life. Yes. And you have met other legends. You're, you're also a legend now, I think. Yes. But you have met, I guess, 10 world champions or something, maybe even played 10 world champions or more. Well, uh, yes, I, of course, I met 10 world champions, yeah. I just wrote, a, I finished a book about uh, 10 world champions, but one I couldn't know because that was our kind. But then the other nine I knew, and of course, after. My book stops with Kasparov, but of course I know Kandy yeah, yeah, yeah. and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which players you have made and maybe played against? A few, if you should name a few, who really impressed you? Well, let me say that uh, I was very impressed by Spassky. Yeah. By his uh, attitude towards chess, his understanding. Also, I was. Uh, I am still very impressed by uh, Kandik, yeah. the way he plays. Yeah. Different style from Spassky. Yes, and of course Kars Kasparov and Karpov. Yeah, yeah, yes. But that is the natural. Russians. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I learned a lot from uh, both Kasparov and Karpov. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you characterize your own playing style? What are your strong sides? It's, it's always a difficult question. I think that Ben Larson got this question and he said others should uh, answer this question, <laughs> not me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I follow the point. Yeah. Um, yeah. But cha chess changes so much with the computers. It's different today than 20 or 30 years ago. Yes, yes. It is different. How do you feel about that? Um, well, I think that. Uh, I like the computer very much when I make end game studies. Otherwise, I think that it's a pity because uh, the, the real uh, interesting part, the adventure in chess, uh, has faded a bit. Yeah, that is the problem with the computer. There are no real surprises. I mean, if if some some hidden combination is found. In the past, this was uh, some sensation, but now it's just uh, anybody can see it with this computer. In 10 seconds. <laughs> That's a pity. On the yeah. other hand, I think that uh, it's it's quite good for chess that uh, the computer is, is so powerful. Because it, it was, yeah. in, in general, I think you see uh, new hidden ways to understand chess. Oh, to yeah. understand end games, to understand middle games. Yeah. I always learn the truth. <laughs> yes. Sometimes you, you look at what the computer has to say about a certain game, and you think, well, this is, this is something very unusual. And then you have to, to find the idea behind it. Yeah. And uh, I find this uh, very intriguing. Uh, I have been playing chess for such a long time, yes. and we had um, our own guides. Uh, we had uh, the guidelines of Botwinning, yes. Kavotanka. Uh, just name them, how you can. <laughs> Later on we had Spassky, Smyslov of course, Tal, yeah, yeah. Petro Shan of course. But now we have the computer and it, it's different. Yes. You have to live with it. It's, it's like that. So you don't think the computer will kill chess as a sport? No, no. Uh, it's quite clear that computers play against each other. Yeah. Apart from that, uh, they're just uh, very useful for top players. And uh, you see what they can do with the computer. And then, uh, I also think that it's uh, it's a challenge to work with computers, especially on the openings preparation. Yes. Is that is that how you maintain your high level training with the computer also? Or? Well, I think that uh, without the computer, I couldn't contain my high level. This is clear. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I really need it uh, also for preparation, but also for not only that, but also for understanding. In your chess career, what are your? I know you also played a, a match with Cup of uh, for the World Championship, uh, the FIFA World Championship. What? But what are your most 
precious memories from your chess career? Maybe not just victories or... Well, precious memories are mostly vic tournament victories. Okay. I, I have enjoyed tournament victories more than uh, match victories. Although okay. sometimes the match victories were more important because they were in the candidates' exactly. matches. Uh, so there was more at stake. But on the other hand, I, uh, if I think back of my uh, tournament victories like Marla Plata 82, Rotterdam 89, yes. uh, and, and even uh, Let's say uh, the, the fourth Stanton Memorial in London, 2009. Yes. Very nice uh, feelings. Also, older victories like Natanya, 75, and I was still a youngster. Yeah, I know you, you yeah. some of your first big victories. I have won many tournaments, and yes. they always have given me much pleasure. Right. And, uh, good to know. So you keep playing. You will play until you're 80 or. No, only uh, when I can still perform well. Okay. That is uh, a condition. If I see that my level is going uh, down, you will. then I will quit. Or I will start this. <laughs> yeah, well, the Mr. Studies, I will continue for sure. Yeah. I'm 80, but I'm still alive then. <laughs> I will continue for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you've been, as you said, you've been in the candidates and the World Championship cycle. Uh, it's being discussed now again if it should be changed, the format, and it has been changed several times, the candidate tournament, yeah. candidate matches, or... What do you think about all that? Do well, we have the right model in the chess world? Or? I think the best would probably be to have a candidate's tournament and, uh, with the world champion. And then the first two play a match. Yeah, with, with the world champion, yeah? Yeah, so the two winners. They'll play a match for the world champion. Yeah. I think that will improve. And especially now we have Carlson as world champion, and he's willing to. He's, he suggests the same, yeah. Not exactly. Not this. exactly, but he suggests but the world champion goes in earlier. Yes. So, yeah. And that would be uh, the finest model, in my opinion. Okay, yeah. We'll see what happens. There's a lot of culture and tradition in chess. Yes, sure. Yeah. So, um, and uh, what are you expecting? for this tournament? You want to win? Well, of course. But, uh, <laughs> it, 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 now we, we get the very tough part of the last yeah, four rounds. Yeah, yeah it was uh, a tough round. Yeah. But, um, okay. Yeah. Hope to have you here maybe many years to come. I think so. I, I like it very much here and uh, the food is very nice. Yes. I, I go and swimming. Around, exactly. I go swimming in the sea. Oh, you yes. Uh, I've been swimming already four times. Good to your health. Also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay.